Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Charlotte Cena kidnapping case. Craig Ross, the suspect, arrested. He was arrested right up the road here. Barrett Road. I'm on Barrett Road. And I want to show you something very, very interesting and talk about this particular spot right here. This is right down the street. Right up there. Right up there is where Craig Ross's uh, mother lived and where he, he took Charlotte. Nine years old. Authorities up there at the home right there. They're still out there, police presence. But that's talk about this area right here this curve right here there is a woman by the name of carol brown and carol brown is claiming back in july her and her grandson was outside here doing she was doing yard work and she went in the backyard to uh look look at the spigot and her grandson brayden craig ross tried to snatch him craig ross suspect where authorities right now are searching his property, apparently tried to snatch this, I believe it's around 10 years old, a 10 year old right around here, Braden, according to Carol Brown. Yeah, there's news reports out there. I'll show you the news report. This report is coming from the Daily Mail. Exclusive, Craig Ross targeted a nine year old boy in his grandmother's front yard months before he allegedly snatched Charlotte Senna from Moreau Lake State Park. What is going on here? Craig Ross, 47, was arrested at his mother's trailer in Milton. Carol Brown, seen here, this is Carol Brown, tells Daily Mail that she saw Ross towering over her nine-year-old grandson in July while we, he was in his front, while they were in the front yard. Ross only stopped because an adult came out. It was a close call for us. There's a picture of Mr. Ross. Suspected kidnapper Craig Ross targeted a young boy months before he allegedly snatched Charlotte Senna from a national park. The boy's grandmother says, Carol Brown said she saw hulking Ross, 47, towering over her nine-year-old grandson in July as he was gardening in her front yard in Milton, New York. Ross, a father of three, has been charged with abducting Charlotte. He was towering over my grandson out in the garden when I came out, said Brown. I asked what he wanted, and he said he just wanted some help with the weed whacker. But when I offered to get my husband, he said no and got on his bike and went off. My grandson is athletic and not the kind of person you think would be targeted at all. He only stopped because an adult came out. It was a close call for us, and he doesn't ride his bike anymore. I warned other families about him on the road just in case. Ross has a limited criminal history before being charged with Charlotte, a 1999 DUI uh, case. He was handed a conditional discharge after pleading guilty and was fined $325 out and a 90-day suspension of his license. Uh, New York State Police arrested him on a misdemeanor charge of criminal obstruction of breathing in 2017. Officers from Saratoga Springs Police charged him with aggravated harassment in 2016, though the outcome is... Uh, unknown what is going on here what is going on here is carol brown i was hearing reports that the grandson was around 10 9 10 years old well there you go it's coming out of this uh lady's mouth what's going on just down the street right around the bend right around the corner from where mr ross was staying with his mom let me know what you think so she spoke on the record. Very remote out here. What is what in the world is going on here? What is what is going on here? Right here, this home right here. Now I went to knock on Carol Brown's door to ask her, you know, some follow-up questions about the interview that she gave you she gave. But there's a sign on the door, the front door says privacy, please, no talking. So, you know, I didn't knock on the door. Has this guy, was this guy, Craig Ross, trying to snatch kids? Is he is he a habitual kid snatcher? And I ask that because unsuccessful with this, but then successful with 
Charlotte, who was nine years old. Is, does this dude have some sick obsession with kids? What in the world is going on here? I am covering this case. I am out in the field. What do you know about this? Or was Carol just lying? Was she not telling the truth and just, you know, throwing out her story and just making things up? Did she file a police report with this? You would think if some man who's six foot four, 275 pounds with a beard was on top of your child acting weird, you would have called the police, right? If you think someone was about to kidnap your kid, you would call the police to make a report. So did Carol make a report or is she just talking? I am out in the field. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am JLR Investigates. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.